thank you for joining me today. I'm Yolly. Um, I'm here to open stuff. And today the stuff I am opening is a Under the Rowan Tree uh, subscription box. So if you would like to go ahead and skip straight to just seeing the contents of the box, I'll put the timestamp down in the video. If you, however, are interested in knowing a bit more, then stick around. So I do have some exciting news. I'm, I'm actually an ambassador now for Under the Rowan Trees, which is really exciting because... I think that usually only, understandably as well, people with kind of thousands and thousands of followers and subscribers uh, get those opportunities and I'm just a very small channel and they have kindly given me that opportunity. So that's, that's really exciting. And the first time I've kind of had anything like that. So yeah, that's awesome. And I appreciate the opportunity. So what that does mean is I get gifted this for free, which is very exciting for the next six months. And I will put it up on YouTube and show it to yourselves. And I will still be honest about what I think about the box as well, because I have made it clear that being honest is important to me. So yeah, exciting stuff. What do you need to know about Under the Rowan Trees? So uh, Under the Rowan Trees uh, is a stationery. It has an online shop, which I can put the link down in the description as well. They have two different subscription boxes. They have the monthly version, which is this one, which is £20 a month. And they have a three monthly version, so a quarterly subscription, which I believe is £35 for every three months. They call on that like an after dark and you see like boobs and stuff. It's cool. Um, <laughs> I think the next one of that is like called Wonder, like wandering, like travel, which sounds cool. But yes, uh, is there anything else you need to know? Yes, I have a discount code. So if you're interested in trying this for yourself, I'll put the code on the screen now and down in the description and that will get you money off um, and do me a favour as well. So yeah, works, works both ways. Um, yeah. All right. Is there anything else to say? I think that's probably it. So let's dig in. I've like had a little sneak peek for what the theme is this month and it seems super cute. So I'm very excited. So. Ta -da. Oh, where am I drawn to first? I think I'm drawn to this. Look at that. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, I love bamboo pencil with a razor. That's really cute. Okay, I'm going to open it. So in the process of opening it, I've discovered that this comes off. Look at that! Oh, I'm going to have to take a pause. So yeah, I think that's, that's dead cute. If you really wanted to, you could separate them, but you might as well keep them together. I almost don't want to use him though. What do you think, Shari? Yeah? You approve? And then... I can see here, eyeing this up, a pan, what's it saying? A pantastic eraser, strawberry. What does this mean? A scented eraser. <sighs> I used to love these. Okay, I'm gonna undo it. I used to be obsessed with smelly erasers when I was little. This is gonna be a throwback. Oh, oh my God, that smells so good. So this is just a little sleeve and it's like, it's through like that. Oh, smell. It does smell like strawberries. I don't want to use that either. <laughs> I'm going to have to add this to my, uh, have I told you I've got a rubber collection, an eraser collection, because I'm a weirdo like that. They might have to both go into that because they're really cute. Um, My nickname used to be Yolanda Panda because that's my full name. <laughs> um, So the little me is happy right now. <laughs> We've got a little chick. Three Easter themes in June, July. It's a July box. Easter themes in July, as you do. We'll put them over there. We've got the washi tape. Oh, I'm going to have to take the plastic off. So here's the washi tape. That is so cute. And I'm getting the chick now. Oh, I've just killed the chick. Okay. I'm understanding the chick now. <laughs> Should we... So... We always get one of these... Um, monthly things which I'm finding really helpful to put in my planner each month but let's use the back to see what this is like so so cute it's so cute I love that oh give you a bit of a tester of what that's like down on the paper it goes on though that's not like the end of it the pattern goes on but look how adorable that is I'm loving these characters, these are so cute. <laughs> what 
next, what next? Okay, we have a uni pen fine line in 0.5. I will never complain at getting more decent fine liners. Hello. Yep, as expected. Really nice to write with. Good quality. Fab. I like that. I'm honestly like, I'm, I, I could receive pens forever. Ooh, how are we going to test the white out? So actually, I'm just running out of one of these. So that is really good timing for me to receive this. I'm wondering where I could test it out on. See if we can go over my hello. Hello. <laughs> that was a dumb idea. Um, yeah, I don't have any black paper on me right now, but you get the gist. It's a gel pen in white, which is fun. I'm going to pop that there. I wonder if it's because it's like panda colours, like black and white. What I, what I really like about Under the Rowan Trees is they are very like on theme with things. They're like they think that through. So right through to making sure that the theme is represented everywhere. I wonder if that's what it's about, but maybe we'll find out. Okay, we have, oh, this is like a little bookmark. So we've got the little chick on one side. I love these characters, they're so cute. Oh, this is like a bookmark or something. Well, I'm certainly using it as a bookmark anyway. We have, oh, I'm actually in love with these characters. What are these? Are they like postcards? I love them. So that's that one. Yeah, the little postcards. They're so cute. Oh, going for a swim. Little things. Oh, these are so nice. I want these to be like permanent characters. I want to like keep seeing what they get up to. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is precious. I'm loving this box so far. Okay, here we have the thing that gives us a clue of what's in here. So look at that at the end. But I love that even this bit is is part of the theme. Like, I'll still use that, right? Which is great. What do we have here? So we have... So these are stickers? Are they stickers? Yes, they are stickers. So we've got this, sheet of stickers. And we've got... This sheet of stickers. I'm in love with these characters. I like how it's a very like one character sheet and one like that you could also use for like planners or yeah, more decorative. And then we have, ah, we have the black and white paper too. So we've got three sheets of white paper and one sheet of black. It's a bit random. I think I would have liked like a few more maybe. Maybe like three black to match the three white uh, would have made a bit more sense. But, ah, oh, because now I want to show you the pen, but I also don't want to waste my one piece of black paper, right? So it's, um, yeah, I think that would have made sense to make them matching. But that's okay. Okay, so let's read this. Oh, so cute. Right. So, the contents. Super cute HB pencil with removable Panda eraser. The Panda Eraser that smells of strawberries. The postcards, whether you're on a far-flung travels or sat in your garden, send someone a cute postcard. Or keep them for myself for scrapbooking, thank you. <laughs> Black fine liner and white gel pen. Uno, uni Ball Signo gel pen in pastel white. And Uni Pin fine liner in black, essentials for every pencil case. Two sheets of washi paper stickers to use in your journal, scrapbook or your postcards. Pip is too cute to not feature on their own washi tape, ideal for making page tabs or decorating envelopes. For your essential holiday reading, let Panda and Pip keep your page and get your scissors out and create your own paper pandas. Oh, cute. I like that. Okay, so we've got Panda and Pip here. These are our two characters. So, yeah, Panda. I'm going to go ahead and guess up on Panda and Pip. What lovely characters. Okay, so let's, let's reassess the situation. So we've got some paper to play around with two sticker sheets, a pile of really lovely postcards, the monthly kind of whatever you want to do with that thing, a bookmark, a pencil with a panda on top and a smelly, mm, strawberry smelly eraser, a little chick for fun, little pip, the washi tape and two good quality by good make pens. This 
feels way fuller to me than last month's the cacti and crystals one um I think yeah I think the vibe just wasn't for me so much whereas this is like so cute I'm very into this and I will like absolutely use everything that's here so that's I'm, I'm absolutely pleased with that and I think you know you're looking at like a few quid each on pens like this anyway so I think value wise I, I personally think it's there but I also think with these boxes especially ones such as under the Rowan's tree under their own trees I need to start getting that right don't I I think the value is there just from like the the curated products being so on theme like they actually are on theme and match each other it seems really thought out so I think that that also boosts the value in a lot of ways for me I feel quite positive about this one I really like it I think the characters are adorable but of course as always I would love 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 to hear your opinion so let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day wherever you are. Goodbye. Bye.